what's up? What's happening, everybody? Brian from Angling Anarchy. Nate and I are hopping in the truck, which, as you can see, looks like Sanford and Son is loaded down with all sorts of chaos tackle gear, rods, lures. We got all the grid wall. We are heading out to Pittsburgh, PA, to set up for the Western Pennsylvania Musky Max Show, 2019. It's Thursday night, about 8:30 at night. We're driving through the night, getting to uh, Pennsylvania on Friday morning. We're going to hopefully get a couple hours sleep, set up everything we need to set up for a show, and Saturday and Sunday we're going to rock it. So come along. Here we go. We are in I don't know where Indiana it's 1130 and I'm about to give up driving and let Nate do that and take a nap so hopefully I will be refreshed and rested the next time I talk to you in somewhere in I don't know Ohio who, uh, who knows we'll see all right well I officially have no idea where we are I've been sleeping I'm guessing Ohio because we're about two hours away from our destination, so uh, things are progressing, I guess, as far as that goes. It's three in the morning. Uh, so the next order of business is to get to the hotel and pray that they will let us check in early so we can get some sleep instead of just sleeping in the truck. So that's where we're at. All right, we have arrived in Cannonsburg and uh, luckily the folks at the Super 8 here were kind enough to let us check in early for a nominal $25 fee. But that's worth it. We're going to sleep, get some lunch, and then we are off to the show venue to start setting up. So that's where we're going to pick it up. Okay, well, we have arrived at the uh, Princecape Arena for the 2019 Pennsylvania Muskie Max Show. Everybody's just starting to get unloaded. We are getting unloaded. Um, Man, this, it, this is a new venue. It's an indoor soccer arena, but it's nice and wide open. So I think Sean, uh, the promoter, has gotten us a nice venue here. And we are going to start getting set up for this cool show. The booth is all set up and ready to go here at Western Pennsylvania Muskie Max Show 2019. Uh, we are going to go grab a bite to eat, and tomorrow, hopefully, it is going to literally be chaos in the chaos booth because these guys come out here to buy some baits. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing every single one of you that comes out here. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow. All right, what's up, everybody? We are about to kick off Muskie Max 2019. And there's a line of people out here, 100 deep, gotta be. There's been a guy out here since three in the morning, they said. So I don't know if you can see it, but that is the line. So here we go, ready to kick it off. Mr. Lax, how's it going? And uh, all right, let's do this, it's gonna be craziness.
Yesterday, Musty Max was ridiculous. There were so many people here. I just, I, other than the time lapse stuff we did, I didn't have much time to film anything. So, excellent day at Musky Max. Um, I'm gonna try to walk around today and talk to some of the guys here and show you what cool stuff there is to see here. But uh, yeah, that's what we'll do today. So another thing you'll find out here that we don't see in Southern Wisconsin that much is a lot of the guys out here fish little rivers. And the best way to fish a little river is in a kayak. So if you're a kayak fisherman, you can come to Musky Max, talk to these boys here. And uh, in fact, let's see, where are these boys from? Let's put some card here. Performance Kayak. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. But check these out. This, it's really cool rigs and setups you can have for fishing these small rivers for fishing Musky Guys, you've seen replicas before from Lax and Fatan, and those are fantastic. But Hans the Carver does something that is absolutely amazing. Are these single pieces of wood? Uh, no, it's uh, laminated. They're, uh, I got a plane, I use four by 12 big pieces of kiln dried cedar. So basically, uh, I plane them down, make them perfectly flat, glue it together, and uh, use a whole bunch of pipe clamps. Does it real hard, makes it just as strong as any piece of wood. How but long does it take for one of these, usually? This one took me just for the fish, without the base or anything. It took me like 125 hours, probably. Um, I mean, that doesn't count all the planning and all the... I mean, that's me sitting in carbon. So right. it probably takes me longer than that. But, I mean, all in all, they're usually taking me with the base and everything, probably around 150, 160 hours. And scales are done pan one by one? One by one, by hand. with a burning gun. Uh, yeah, and then I paint them scale by scale also, which is a big part in how you get them to look real. Uh, right on, man. Not as much airbrush, a lot more paintbrush, you know? Sure. Awesome, dude. These are awesome. Thank you. Cool. So guys, when you come to Musky Max, that's just one of the things you can see. And I'm going to give a couple more shots of this because this is absolutely amazing. All right, look who else I found at Musky Max here. I have one of the new co-owners of Musky Hunter Magazine, Greg Thomas. Greg, what do we have to look forward to with the new Musky Hunter Magazine? Well, I tell you what, the new Musky Hunter's got a whole new look. We've got new pictures on the cover of actually real fish. We've got a ton of different columns in there, about 15 to 16 different columns, a lot shorter format, more information, more how-to, and it's just a lot more how-to to make you a better musky fisherman. Less stories, more guts. Perfect, man. Um, yeah, check out the new Musky Hunter Magazine. 
these guys are going to be crushing it with the new format. And hey, thanks again, Greg. No problem. Appreciate it, buddy. Have a good trip back. You too. All right, thank you. All right, everybody, we are wrapping up Musky Max 2019, and I am here with show promoter Sean Leopardi. Hello this there. guy knocks it out of the park. This show, if you guys are in this part of the country, you have to come to the show if you're a musky fisherman. Everything is here. What was the show year like for you? We, we, we had a blast. I mean, there's a ton of work that goes into prep, and, and everybody knows that. And these guys that have been on this circuit for weeks and weeks now, I know it's exhausting because you're on the whole time. There's a lot of work and prep that goes into this, but we really work hard to get quality exhibitors yep. like Chaos and many others that join here. And uh, the speakers. Speakers oh, are a big deal. Fantastic speakers. The, the Western Pennsylvania population and the draw from the neighboring states it's yep. been tremendous. And these local fishing clubs, they do, they do, a, they do just tremendous. Really Absolutely. Are. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for putting on such a great yeah, show, man. Absolutely. I appreciate it, man. We're going to start getting ready to rock out back to Wisconsin. You have a safe trip back. Right. It's always a pleasure. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate yeah. it. Take care. All right. We're going to wrap it up from Muskie Max here. We have Team Chaos. We've got Mike Ducci, Mark Kornowski, Mike Geenan. Mickey's back there. We got Frank. And we got Nate. Is, that's <laughs> I drag him around everywhere. So we're setting up. We're gonna head back home, and that's the show. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later. One, two.